have a lot of different options when it comes to reproduction. One of the major ways, the sexual reproduction way, involves spores at some stage. And the spores are packaged in little packets called sori. And a sorus can be a little round thing like here, or a straight line, or in chevrons. The arrangement of these sori can be very diagnostic with the ferns. Another method of reproduction for ferns involves these creeping rhizomes, and this is vegetative reproduction. And these rhizomes zip along the ground or just under the ground, and then little plants will shoot up from those rhizomes. And then there are some ferns that have this interesting viviparous mode of reproduction, and I don't think that many ferns do this, but let me show you two ferns in two different families that make these little vegetative buds that can become independent plants. First of all, this is a Tectaria lizarza burui, and it's a streamside fern, family Tectariaceae. And if you look along the midrib here, the rachis of this frond, you'll see this little individual right here. And this is a, a complete fern. If we took this off and planted it, it would make a fern. And I don't really know how these things work. What makes a frond decide that it's going to produce these little vegetative buds? It's not necessarily the fronds that have the spores that are doing this. And here's one that's a little bit older. You can see that it's it's like a little uh, nest of organic matter with a, a little tiny frond coming out. And then this one right here has three fronds coming out as of an individual. I think it would be really interesting to study these and figure out which plants make these little vegetative buds, when they do it, and then how they actually get established. Do they break off and float down the river? I'm not sure if anyone's ever studied that. Anyway, these little individuals come off of the upper surface of the frond. And then this fern right here, this is a Hemionidas uh, palmata, and it does the same sort of thing. It's in a different family. And here is a little tiny individual budding off. In this case, it's coming off the lower surface of a leaf that did have sori. And where's another one? This one right here. There are three little leaves coming off of the surface of this leaf right here that also had sori. In the book by F. Gordon Foster, Ferns to Know and Grow, he describes these little vegetative buds coming off of the very edge of the, of the mother leaf, so to speak. And that seems to be true, but it looks to me like the ones that I've seen, the little buds are coming off of the edge just slightly on the underside margin. And these, if I pin these individual leaves down in an appropriate environment, I know they would sprout and make real plants because I've done that. But this is a topic, I think, for some sort of a research project.